Hey guys, right, this is SB737, and in this video I'm just going to be showing you uh, how I make my thumbnails. So, uh, I'm going to be making a thumbnail for this video here. It's uh, my Sonic the Hedgehog 2 task, which I did a long time ago, it's pretty outdated, but uh, it's got quite a few views, so uh, it could do with a good thumbnail. Um, so, first of all, what you're going to need is you're going to need Photoshop, like that, and then I'm, and then in the description there's going to be a file you can download, and uh, it's going to be called... Uh, thumbnail temp .psd and just open that in Photoshop and this is basically just the right size for um, Photoshop uh, for the for YouTube thumbnail size and it's also got that, that checkered background so you sort of have a cubed um, background to the thumbnail which has a, a nice touch uh, Evil Cupcake made that for me uh, you might want to check out his channel he makes some uh, some great art so uh, that's where I got this from so okay so uh, first off I'm gonna look for for an image to go as the background, so I'm going to use the the death egg zone for this one. So let's just type in the death egg zone into Google, see what we come up with. Go on to images, and that to me looks like a good enough image. So you you go on view image, and then you you save the image as, and I'll just save it into a folder where I know where it is. You uh, you do the same, and then you go on file in in Photoshop now. File open, art, Silver Sonic, and then. What you want to do? Hold on, let me let me explain what I'm doing. There's a there's a list of tools on it, and you want to get the square one, drag it over, Control C to copy it, and then press Control V on your thumbnail temp .psd. Uh, right click on that, press Free Transform, and then you can drag it, and you can and you can resize it to fit the thing correctly. As you can see, it's sort of a cubed background idea. So next off, um. I'm going to find a picture of Sonic. So, what you want to do is anything you want Sonic to be doing. I'm just going to type in Sonic and put PNG on the end, and that will mean you get uh, you'll generally get an image with a transparent background. I'm not sure what we're going to find here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to find what I'm looking for anyway. Um, what do we think would work well? Let's type in classic Sonic because we're getting all sorts of Sonics here, aren't we? Let's uh, see what's going to come up. Um. Oh, do do do. I don't, I quite like that one. That that'll do. So uh, again, you just go on view image. And once it loads, there we go. Save image as. Save. <clears throat> and then you go on file, open. And you open it up. Okay, it didn't like that. I try again. No, okay, I'll try a different file then. If it <laughs> didn't like that at all, right? Um, let's uh, let's just go for this one then. That's that's your classic Sonic one, isn't it? That that'll do. Uh, save image as save. Hopefully that works. Uh, file open. Okay, it likes that one. That that'll do. Okay. So now we we free transform that, make it a bit smaller so it fits nicely. Um, there we go. That fits nicely. And now on the and you press enter to uh, get a free transform. Now on the on the right, you're going to see the layers, and Sonic is below the cubed layer. So what you're going to do is drag that above it, and now Sonic's in front of it, and that's behind it, and that's sort of what what gives it that effect. Uh, now I'm going to look for a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 logo. I'm I'm not sure if I can find one. Um, they're kind of annoying to find, I find. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 logo. So yeah, I have. Been searching for him. Let's have a look. That might, might be do. Looks a little bit like faded, if you know what I mean. Like not in full color, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens when we uh, load it up. Okay. Uh, it, it'll do, I think. It'll do. Um, I don't know why I never seem to be able to find Sonic Two logos. Uh, there we go. That's that. And I'm just gonna do the same with that. It doesn't look the brightest of oranges and colors, but it'll do for the video <laughs> so I'm just gonna resize it I tend to put it in the top corner like that you can put it on either top corridor at uh, top the corridor corner but um okay so next I'm gonna add some text and um, in the description there's a is a, uh, a font you can download and I actually got this off uh, someone else's video and um, I'm gonna link that video in the description and uh, it's called it's the nice Sega Sonic font and uh, when you've downloaded it, it'll be in a, a, an archive zip like this. So just double click on it, 
Press install. I've already in, already installed it, but I can I can do it again. Um, it's installed now. So we close that, and it'll it'll now appear in Photoshop. You may have to restart Photoshop. I don't know. Um, so now I've got my text up. Um, I can type something like that. Um, I'm going to put this Taz. And uh, how long was this Taz? How quick was it? Let me have a look. Um, Twenty-two thirty-four. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on the video. Okay. Um, just make it a little bit smaller, just by adjusting the font slightly. Uh, I'll make it. I don't know. Forty-eight might do. Uh, Taz. You can always just change it after anyway. Um, I'm trying to look. Taz twenty-two thirty-four. I'll just have a look so it matches the other ones. So yeah, I'll put full game speed run underneath twenty-two thirty-four. Okay, that's 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 still a bit big though, isn't it? Let's if you just press uh, Shift Control and press the comma button, it makes it a smaller by a size the font, and uh, if you press the full stop, it makes it bigger. So uh, that looks about right for me. Uh, I'll put that about there. Uh, now I highlight and I, I choose a color. Um, for this, I'm going to choose like an orangey color. That, that tends to look quite nice. Uh, dark colors don't tend to look as good. They don't. They tend to be harder to read. So try and choose a lighter color if you can. Um, okay. So now I've got the text in that color. So now I go to FX down here. I press on Stroke, and uh, for this sort of thing, I think a stroke of nine works quite well. And I leave that in the color black. That always uh, that always looks good. Okay. Now I've done that. I'm gonna I'm gonna duplicate the layer. Okay, uh, it's it's there now, above the other one, and I'm going to type in full, oh, full game speed run. Uh, that's a little bit big though. Um, yeah, it's quite spaced out. I'll see if I can make it less spaced out. Um, if you look over on the right here, there's all sorts of settings you can do. It's at zero at the moment. If I set it to minus 100, it kind of bunches it together more. But then it just doesn't look too readable, so I'm just going to put uh, speed run, and uh, I'll set it back to zero. That that'll do for that. There we go. That'll do. Okay. So next comes the the final uh, bit with the text effects. So if I right click on it and press convert to smart object, I do that for both of my bits of text. I can't edit the text now. They're just objects, but what it means I can do is I can add another stroke. So this time I make it six, uh, not as big, and I make it white, and it adds that extra little effect, and that's kind of it makes it look a lot better. Um, I do the same for this one, uh, so they both look the same. You don't want to be looking like looking too much different, you know. Try and keep them fairly similar. Um, I'm just going to move Sonic that way slightly. Um, okay, so now you sort of you've finished but there is one other thing you can do um, if you go on the if you do this right control C and then go on file new in fact I don't know if I'm doing this right I don't know it let me do it right first in fact there's probably a quick way right press on the bottom one where it says raster one hold shift press on that and then what you want to do is right click on it press convert to smart objects smart object and then press rasterize layer and basically what I'm doing here is I'm, you can create a border okay now that it's rasterized I can select it all I can press control C to copy it file new press OK control V does that for me and then what I can do is I can go on image, canvas size, and then make sure the relative box is, is uh, ticked. So that makes it bigger by this height. So 0.2 and 0.2. And that adds that bit. If I don't do that, as you can see, Sonic's feet go off the screen before they would have they would have still been there, if you know what I mean. But by, by doing that those steps, it makes it work uh, a bit better. Then I get the magic wand tool. And I click on the uh, the extra bit around the edge, 
and I get the full fill tool and I used to I like I think the color red looks good so I always go with red I fill in that then I go on image and I do the same again but this time I just do 0.15 and that seems to work well for me I don't do this to all my thumbnails um, but it, it adds a little uh, a little nice touch if you want to look a little bit more professional um, and then if you, you these are called marching ants these little things if you just click off them with that tool they go and and that's the thumbnail finished and uh, I like to just zoom out at the end and that's about the size it'll be on YouTube so then uh, the very last thing to do zoom back in and uh, you go on file you go on save as don't go on save save as make sure and then uh, I'm just gonna check it on my desktop and uh, you want to save it as a PNG file alright that's uh, that's the best uh, format for it and then I'm just gonna call it Sonic 2 Taz in fact I'll put it in my folder where I, uh, I keep all my other ones pictures new YouTube um, to do, do, do Sonic I'll just chuck it in there and that is it that's done so how that's how I do it and um, I've had quite a lot of people asking me how is it done you know how do you get your thumbnails looking so good and um, it was evil cupcake who taught me how to do it so um I'll, uh, I'll have to thank him for that um but yeah thanks so much for watching and um, if you want me to explain anything else feel free to uh, I'll be happy to make another video like this and uh, hopefully uh, you'll uh, keep watching my videos so yeah thanks so much for watching bye